Jesus. Asshole. The world out here has gone to <laughs> shit. Come on. Let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Yo! What is up, Gamer Squad? Welcome back to another video of The Walking Dead, bro. I know. Give me some claps. I know, I know, man. We back with another vid of The Walking Dead, bro. Y'all already know, bro. I'm excited, man, because man, episode one was a journey. And that was just episode one. We finna do episode two. Man, okay. This 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 how it's gonna go down. We already know who we don't like. Alright, let's drop let's drop that now. We don't like Larry. We didn't like Herschel, but we I don't think we're ever gonna see Herschel again. I don't think we ever yeah, cause I don't think we ever gonna see her. So we might as well forget about Herschel. Larry? Maybe Duck? Lily? No, Larry, Lily, Duck. These are the three people I hate the most in this game right now. And Glenn. But Glenn's gone, so he don't count. Jeez, bro. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. But you know, maybe this episode, something gonna, something gonna happen. I don't know. I don't know much to say. I don't have much to say. I forgot the preview. Maybe they'll give us a previously or something like that or next. I don't fucking, I don't know. I don't know. But just know, Larry, I'm gonna break your fucking snaz, nigga. Remember that, Larry. But Larry, I'm gonna break your snaz, bruh. Don't forget that. But we finna get right into it, y'all. Let go, man. Starved for help, bro. Look at Lily, Lily, look, stop looking at me like that. And Kenny, like, he finna say something racist to Lily, uh, even though the same color, but... Oh my gosh, bro, this, this looks heat. Okay, here we go, bro. I'm excited, bro. Previously on The Walking Dead. Previously on The Walking Dead. My fault, could. I know who you are. Oh my oh, gosh! I a good one for you. This stupid, y'all already know this. Y'all already know that one. You've been all by yourself through this? Clem yeah, is a real one, bro. I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. Shut up, Doug. And I'm Carly. You stole Carly okay, from Carly. me. I'll never You'll forget you, Doug. Doug. You got it, boss. He almost got bit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. It's either him or your son. I say it's him. Damn right. Out on his ass with those things. Yep. Oh my God. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything, y'all heard Clementine daughter or that little girl you've got with you. You watch your ass. Larry, you watch your fat no. I'm gonna punch you on your snods, bro. Don't ever forget that, bro. I'm gonna get Larry, bro. The game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play, you Negro. And let's go, bro. I'm, I'm hyped, man. I'm hyped now, bro. I'm ready, bro. What did we leave off, y'all? We just the motel lights went off, ain't it? When Candy jinxed it. Skybound and it's out Skybound, bro. Y'all the real one. Three months. months later so that made everybody bond everybody cool ain't it oh that boy lee got the fresh fit hold on who is this what'd they get this time uh, looks like a rabbit <sighs> well that's another meal lost I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. But you still got this it old like axe. So much at the time. Get a gun, bro. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Well, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. What's your name, bro? You the new homie? Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. 
We'll manage. manage. We'll manage, hey. bro. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. Okay, you know, so we still at the hotel. About taking off if he can get that RV running. Let's do it, Kenny. He got a family. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? Bro, Larry and Lily gotta go. Anyway. Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Lily's already getting mad about her and Ken I don't know what's going on with her and Kenny. The old race. He's racist. He's I know. Just he an old racist. I know. Asshole. Larry is racist. Mark, I don't well, care. Mark. He needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Heart problems are not. We should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He really he's is. A walking pile driver. He really is. No, I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. But and still, I knew Larry was racist. Uh, he has to flat. be. Did he just say he'll knock me flat? If I put this blicky to his head, he ain't gonna knock nothing. Or if I use the axe. Mark, you all right, Mark? You you look cool. Like gonna shoot a crow in it? Can you make it's a it? Long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. You dumbass! Ah! Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on, Mark. You suck, bro. It was right there. How do you miss that? Like, if you can't make it, don't try for it then. Yeah, I wouldn't aim if I couldn't make it. Or like, bro. That's not Kenny. That is not Kenny, bro. Who is that? The Grease? The, uh, what's that called? That's that... Jesus Christ. What's that book called? Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it teacher? Off. Get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. Scott? These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear We're not gonna hurt you. It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. I don't care. You. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Can't chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Right, shut the yeah, fuck up. We gotta help. You. Shut the heck Please. up. Travis ben, and Ben. Up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. What? After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. I. We gotta get him out of there. Oh God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please. Travis, hurry. who do you think you is? Bro. Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Chop that leg off. Oh no. Shit. Walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please. Get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Damn, this is bad. You have really to get him bad. out. You have to take I'm chopping that leg off. Please, please, I don't know y'all. I don't care for y'all. Surrounded any minute. All right, all right, Kenny. It. We're chopping the leg. Simple. Try to catch Jane. No, no, no. Try the trap. I don't give a damn. I don't know who you is, sir. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, cut, cut the chain. Cut the chain. Cut the chain. Come on, come on, come on. It has to be now. I'm trying, y'all. Come on. Forget Try it. You use chain like that at the Air Force Base to lift ordnance. You're not cutting through that. Well, fuck. Your, your leg finna go, buddy. Damn it, Lee. Cut that leg off. Fucking leg. You don't have time for Cut that, that leg off. Oh, Come on, boy. Now. Come on, boy. Uh, uh, Woo, we ripping through the meat. I see white. Ammo now. We gotta go. Uh, one more, one more chop, one more chop. Lee, God, there's so many of them. Lee, man up, bro. Uh, uh, 
Oh God! Shit. Is he? He passed out. Sorry, bro. He's alive. Grab him and let's go. Right. Come on, y'all. Make moves. <laughs> Listen, I, I tried to cut the chain. Ben, come on. Travis. Behind you. Travis. Please die. Come on, come on. We got to move. Ah. Yes. Yes. He looked like a problem, y'all. Let's be real. Travis looked like he was going to be a problem. Listen, Ben and the teacher was, on, was cool. My dad worked in the Air Force. I know what I'm doing. My dad was in the military. No, you don't, Travis. This is not... This is not the this is zombie apocalypse, bro. Dang, bruh. Killer be eating, bro. Look at this racist, bro. I'm sorry, Clem. I would say play with Duck, but Duck lame. No, nobody wanna play with Duck. cares for duck man we back y'all we brought people of course because lee always trying to save somebody but that's what make him a good character because i wouldn't be saving these people okay lily he got it on her clem yo clem clem Stop that shit, Clem. Look at this fucking. The fact they made Larry OP is stupid. Get the gates open. We've got wounded. What the hell was that shit. about? Okay. What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh on. God. What happened? Oh, God. What's going on? Larry, Larry shut up. up. Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see I'm okay, I'm Clem. Cat. Okay. Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. I, I don't know. Lee. What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? I agree. I don't want to do this, but now I'm forced to do this. Hey, what's no, your mouth? I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not you responsible shut up, redneck. for every struggling you survivor racist? we come across. We have to focus on our group. Get your right finger here, out of my face. Right now. Well, hang on. Carly, we haven't even up? talked to these people yet. Maybe Carly. they can be helpful. <laughs> like that bubble Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Uh, Lily! No. Fine. You guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I. Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think. Clem, you are. Clem is so fire. Our own goddamn. She's so, she's so cute, bro. This isn't your own Dude, I drew personal Lee. dictatorship. Oh come on, you're being dramatic. What's up, Carly? Everything always turns into a Carly power got the blicky. I'm with Carly everywhere. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Evan, Nazi. I don't care. Who doesn't matter? It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. Kenny! You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence. But sooner or later, you're going to have to decide whose side you're on. I'm on Kenny's side of- I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Larry, Larry, run Dad, my fave. Please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Right, you're annoying. I mean, the safe option was to be neutral. It's not like it was a you bad option. This is easy for me. Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants- I was neutral, me. Lily. I understand where you're you coming what? from. I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Damn, you a <laughs> Watch you have to do that, y'all. <laughs> you only have four food items for ten hungry people. Clem, Kenny, uh, 
Hold on. Carly. Larry, don't don't get don't look at me tooted. Was he tooted up just now? Was Larry really just tooted up on the fence? Clem. If I can give it to Duck, I'll give I'm giving it to the kids. Regard kids first. So Clem. Hold on, hold on. We gotta thank y'all. Clem is number one. We got Clem. If I can give it to Duck, even though I hate the kid, I'm giving it to Duck. All right, Kenny will respect me for that. Kenny already told me. Clem, Duck, Carly, Mark. I don't know you, even though it's been three months. And he said he did bring food. Listen, Clem, Clem, Clem. Where Clem at? Clem. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. Clem. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with <clears throat> Now we got to get Clem attention again. Okay. I love Clem. Here, Clem. Get your ration of food. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Give... Give half an apple, give piece of a jerky. You finna get some, You we finna give Clem some protein. She ain't eating that apple, you know, a little bit. She ain't eating the crack. We finna give Clem some protein, strong, big. Okay, a Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> Clem, be like that again, you ain't getting shit. any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we need to get some food? Yeah, shut up, Duck. Shut up. I to stomp you out right now. <laughs> Let me chill. All right, we got Clem. We gave Clem food. Listen, I said I was gonna give Duck food. I can't go back on that. Hey, Duck, how about a little food? He's a kid. He's a kid, y'all. He's a kid. He crazy? Get this cracker and cheese. Here. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so hungry. Now, would it be effed up for me of give Duck and Kenny food since they're in the same family? Look at Carly. Carly. <laughs> I would have gave you some food. But last time I checked, you only care for Doug. And Doug's not here anymore. So you're not getting that food. Sorry. Hold on. Can we go around? Listen, Kenny, you've had a rough day. <sighs> Wait, I still got crackers and cheese and an apple. That was just two. Okay, we got extra. Want something to eat? Are you going to say yes? Here, get this apple. Here, Kenny, take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yes, he did, actually. Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved, thanks. Maybe I should give it to Lily. Oh, wow. Let's think about this, y'all. Let's think about this. Listen. If I was to keep the food, or no, if I was to give the food to Lily, will Lee get hungry or like die of starvation or something? I'm taking a risk doing that. And I don't want my main character to die off of starvation. So if I keep the food, my my uh nutrients ah uh, what they gonna say though yeah i knew lee was gonna do this if i give the food to lily that's a double-sided coin you feel me i might give her the food and she's still gonna be talking that bull but lily let's be real lily been doing her job she's been keeping watch of everybody as much as i hate lily she's taking that leadership role her and Kenny. Maybe I should give both the leaders food. But I need it too. And I'm a fat boy, so I'm keeping that food. Sorry, Lily. That's for me. I need to keep my strength up too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Oh, uh, Lily looks sad. I'm sorry, Lily. Not such an easy job, is it? Carly. It's okay. 
I know you're still watching out for me. You already know, baby. You already know. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Ooh, Larry? You're out! The lobster? What happened to my Come on, food? come on. I've been waiting for you. There's none left. Come on, Larry. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Let's go. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Now get your racist self over there. Get away from me with that energy. I'm up here spreading love and food. Listen, Carly, listen. Let, let me talk to you. Let me talk How's to you, baby. How's it going, Lee? From up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. B? That's why you didn't get the food. See, see, see. She's so lucky she up there. This is why I didn't give Lily the food. What the hell, I'm gonna leave? It seems like you're playing, but you were just saying it's not an easy job, but now you're saying I'm playing favorites? Lily, Lily. Anyway, Carly, anyways. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. I'm sorry, Carly. Drugstore? Yeah. See? Back in a bit. See, I don't care for Carly like that now, because not she really... Thinking about Doug still. Ben, Ben. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? No, that nigga's dead. I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe I should have gave it to Kaja instead of Kenny. There's no other way. She over there, a medic. Hey, Ben. I hope you understand why I didn't give you any food. I'm new. I get it. It's fine, Lee, really. So who are you? So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. You got the two. Man you saved is Mr. Parker. Two the first names. At my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when, when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help. You know, some kind of, I don't know, something. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope <clears> so. Am <throat> I supposed to tell all of them that there's no food? Sorry I ran out before I could give you any food. Hey, don't feel bad. I'd almost rather starve than eat most of that stuff. Besides, you've done plenty for me already. You know, you know how we, you know how we rock him. What should we do about the kid? If it were up to me, I'd let him stay for a while, see if he proves to be an asset. But that's up to Lily, and with her in charge of the food, I don't want to get on her bad side. Carly, back in a bit. I I like you. Like for real deal, like you. The Car Clem, Clem, I want to talk to Clem. F Duck, I'll stomp that boy head. He lucky. He Kenny Child. Are you doing okay, Clem? How you doing, Clementine? Everything. Well, I gotta right? find her hat, yeah. y'all. Is that man going to be okay? <clears throat> I think he'll be fine. Oh, that's good. Clem is so fire, bro. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Let me break your snozz, right? Fucking. You think I... If I talk to Larry, I'm going to talk some smack. I ain't even gonna lie. Mark, what's up? Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kaja can save him. Sorry, there's, there just wasn't enough food to go around. I understand. Gotta be hard to make those decisions. Just get me next time. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! Oh, shit! She's making the smart Listen, Larry. choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Those are people! Please. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. I'm giving it.
doing it tomorrow. Telltale. Telltale. Do you see how y'all doing this right now? Hey, uh, we can use your act. You can give us the axe. Yeah, give it to me. Larry, I don't punch you and break your snot, bro. I want to punch him in it. Look at that fat nose, bro. Giving it to the freaking Mark. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. You're welcome. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh, and that's what you think this is? Oh. Is that what you told him? That's not what I meant. No? Then what did you mean? All right, let's take a step back. Maybe you two should keep your distance. Fine with me. You didn't deny it, though. Racist. Listen, y'all can hate Ken, me. Lee, come I here, do not Lee. like Larry, though. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. Ben. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go. Let him go, Captain. Let him go. What? He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Let him know. God dang it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Catcher! Oh, okay, I got you, Catcher! Oh! That scared the heavy Mark! What just happened? Move! Move! I'm... No. Get the... Go me! You... Shoot it! Guess who came in clutch? Carly, and you were my you baby. Okay? Yeah. But what's Larry? Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fight me, fight me Why right now. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word. But he wasn't bitten, I swear. Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Oh, they don't get what's going on. You all don't know. What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw oh, it happen, Lord. we were all hiding out in the gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take- Back off! Who's that? Oh, whoa, lady, relax. He looked crazy. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I no, said sir. Back off. No, Are sir. You? No, sir. Are you armed? Are you armed? Yeah, for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. They're gonna raid us. Generators Heck no. provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, no, we can sir. talk about some kind of trade. No, sir. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Hold on, you said food? Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. Carly, you my fucking... So, I should have uh, gave you food what over there. What All right, they got food. Let's... Carly with me. She got a gl blicky. Uh. Ah. Uh. Listen. Carly with me. She got a blicky, y'all. Carly didn't come to play with these boys, bro. 
Carly didn't come to play. You got a Blicky on deck. They say a Mark too. Me, Mark, and Carly. That's the group we running in. Where Kenny at? They got plenty of food. We need food. I just gave out rations. Uh, we need food. I'm not finna say that. We need food. They were just being everybody being pissy. Especially Larry, race itself, and Lily. We gonna go. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. We gonna get raided. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. This man, he gonna kill us, bro. So, <laughs> he gonna kill dairy. us. You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of Oh, we food. got more people. Okay, we got Ben too, and, uh... It's nice to get away from that motel <clears throat> for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Harley. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Personally, I'd be happy we go on a date some... Lily is a smart leader, me as a leader. Kenny. Kenny keeps us motivated. He believes in hope and knows how important it is for us not to give that up. I can't fault him for that. Or maybe you just don't want to be in charge. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Exactly. Because of your past. Exactly. Does anyone? I would know? love to be in charge. Larry knows. Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Right. Some in time might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore. That's your fault, Carly. But I forgive you. to her, but I forgive you, Carly. What exactly did happen with the senator? Now not not the time. Now is not the time. Well, I'm here whenever you want to talk. I want to talk in the Sounds motel room. If I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I understand. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I agree. I uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? A little country with it. I'll tell him. I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in. Uh, who's running things over there? Uh. We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. I'm not going to say Lily or Kitty. I'm not going to anyway. say me. Change the subject. Well, the kid here is our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other we really out. Need it. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. I don't care, Ben. Everything Listen, helps. why do you question me so much? Been the dairy for like, I ain't gonna I lie. Remember. I wasn't gonna tell them how many kids we had, no, how many people was there. You think you're gonna cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always oh, pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Fuck you! You knew we were hungry, and you guys were keeping it up. There's only two of them. Oh no, there's Yeah, and you know what? More. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! Oh! Fuck oh. you! Fuck you! Jesus! Get to the dairy where it's safe. Yo! He just shot like three to five times. Wasting bullets. He hurt. Bro, he had a UAV. He most definitely had a UAV right now. Wow, bro. He said, what you? What you? Here it is. St. John Family Day. Hey. Hey, I'm happy. We got food for the people. Can see how we kept this place so safe. Ooh, electric wires going. Fence keeps them out. <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. 
We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. Oh, this is a perfect place for us I'm to go. I'm going to assume that's a lot. <clears throat> Who is that? This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. Oh, yeah. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. What's your name? Yeah. Sherry? This is all Sharon. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Ferry. I'm Brenda St. John. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We work together, man. We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty. I'm of not gonna pick between Lily and Kenny right well, now. That's good to hear. And that motel ain't the safest I'll talk place. After. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. I bet. I bet so. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Biscuits? Morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my, our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. She gonna eat It'll us. They nice cannibals, y'all. have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Danny, you look crazy. Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might yes, sir. Take someone with you. Remember, yeah, for sure. Don't let her by herself. I can handle myself. Carly. Take this. Carly. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along and You're right. Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark oh, Doug. Carly is bait. Look around. Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? We should, we should do whatever we can to help out. Let's make sure that place is the place is safe. Yeah, at the end of the day, we gotta worry about our health and like what's going on around here. Uh, before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe, but is it safe enough for the kids? Right. I missed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but. Maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see. And checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Um, what I was saying though, like, the reason I don't choose between Kenny and Lily is because, like, obviously I'm gonna choose Kenny. Like, who's the leader? Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Try to fix it? Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Let them know, Lee. But, um, anyways, I think I'm obviously going to pick Kenny, but Lily and Larry is a big problem in the group. Like, we can all agree on that. Hate it or not, Lily and Larry is a big problem in the group. So, my best choice is right now this is to stay in the middle. If Lily and Larry, like, die or something or go away, then I'm. Kenny is 
easily taken that that first pick at the spot. I just feel like if I was to pick Kenny, I'm gonna hear more of Larry. Which I don't care for Larry. If he, I'm ready for the run the hands, bro. Look at Lee Stans right here. He is always ready, bro. But um, I just want to play the smart route, the safe route to be exact. I'm gonna just wait until uh, I don't know. Who knows what happened? Maybe maybe Kenny will die. Some hope. Hopefully he won't. Hopefully nobody would die. I just want them to get out of the group, though. All right. Um, let's check around for boards, y'all. We look at the fence. Oh, there's a board right there. Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep. Can't take any chances when it comes to safety. Can you leave stuff like that on all night, or is the gas gonna run out? Cause like, could be useful if I can <laughs> find some boards to cut. There's one right there, Lee. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get right out ahead. the way, then we're gonna check everything else. <laughs> And this is for Clem. And I guess Duck. Y'all see, as much as I hate Duck, I still look out for him. Like, y'all gotta understand that. And I'm like, man, this man really hate Larry and Duck. Y'all gotta understand, bro, what I'm doing, bro. And today, I'm still looking out for Duck. Oh, because he's Kenny Kid, but I still look out for him, though. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? That fence is no joke. The fence is no joke, at least around the house. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of it. I'll keep looking around. Yep. All right. Keep me posted. I got you, bro. But yeah. Honestly, I think like if I really was to choose, I would think Lee should be the leader, but Larry. The board is good, but I need some rope. Oh, shoot. We forgot rope. We don't got no rope. Yeah, I'm over here finna get on the board. We don't got no rope. I'm gonna come up, come on up, up in there. It's my house now. Oh, never mind. I was gonna walk in. Well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Hey, I'm just buttering them up right now, bruh. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys See, what, what, try Brenda? To as best we can, but we still keep some I ain't gonna say no. old routines to help remind us of better times. What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here. Just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. I would have too. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was a tough night. I'm sorry to hear that. But when will dinner be ready? When will dinner be ready? it would be a while still, but it'd be worth it. Trust me. How many rooms y'all got? How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? It looks custom built. Nice of you to notice. My husband put a lot of work into this old house. Well, he did a fantastic job. He, butter him, butter him up. How's your family been holding up since, uh, you know? All my boys have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. I think it was hardest. On Wait, she so she's the big Daddy mother of the farm, of and they're the sons. I'm thinking, him I said that. Andy is the husband. Well, if anything comes you're up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. Well, wait, shut no up. <laughs> Something wrong with me, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie. <gasps> we got rope first try, bro. This rope is perfect for the swing. Yes, it is. We just gonna loot everything we want.
This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. I didn't ask. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. He said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. Okay. <laughs> Mama, she was done after damn. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take Daddy. such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks oh, like I yourself. Oh, listen, Daddy. I love my Daddy. I'm gonna get a go, Lee. Still thinking about my Daddy. Um, I'm pot. Oh, I'm finna uh, spy on them. Already wait for dinner. Real, bro. We finna eat. What we finna eat? We finna have some mac and cheese, cornbread, corn on a cob. I'm talking about everything, even seafood. We need to cook up a whole shark up in that mug as well, bro. We finna eat everything. All right, this is. What if she got some tough. Debbie cakes? I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Yeah, Brenda. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around. Just trying here. to help out. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother. Let's be real. Brenda feeling me right now. She won't she wants some of that Lee. She won't Lee. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. All fixed. That should make everyone happy. Yeah. But for real though. Yeah, we buttering them up. We buttering them up good right now, man. They really, they really liking us, and which I, that's what I wanted. I want them to really like us, and you know, get to know. We gonna talk to him, then we gonna try to head out with uh, what's it called? Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed been stockpiling huh oh yeah we armed all right oh shoot yeah if anyone tries to fuck with us they'll regret it well protecting your people is important I'm a fucking my experience having that many guns around is when people get dangerous we can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. You found out the other survivors have stayed at the farm. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Daddy? Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. And we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. All right. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter. Let's fix that perimeter, oh, man. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. <clears throat> you know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. This Minecraft hey, music peaceful, bro. You never know. Okay. All right. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence <clears throat> before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Right. Sorry, man. It just what the heck, Mark? Out. He's a piece of shit. I try to be civil. I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. Right. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Okay. Come on, let's push it off. Come on. Looks 
like he's stuck. Disgusting. And he said, when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Right. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah, that's not how life is, though, with this walking dead world. A fortress needs people Some to defend gonna happen. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. These folks are just delaying the inevitable. This place is gonna fall apart, just like everywhere else. <sighs> Maybe you're right. There's another one. Lee! Oh my, like, bro, they be saying stuff? I do not be trying to say, like, what, what was that, dude? Are you serious? <laughs> Lee might be right though. I don't trust these people Never like that. Used to the smell, I know Brenda dude. feeling me though. <laughs> nope. Brenda St. John? Yeah, she she feeling me, y'all. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Right. Would have been nice to get some of those. And rations. Mark got a big mouth. He I might say something out loud. You. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're going to be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> We're going to get raided or some shit. I don't like this. Come on. How we gonna get over there, y'all? Little help here, Lee. I got you, bro. And bada bing. Oh, never mind. <gasps> Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. <gasps> what the? Uh, Mark! Uh, what the? Get to the gate. Get down! You asshole! Jesus! Mark, you good? We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Ah. Fuck. Now what? With a fence okay. on that gate, it's our only way out. Hey, rat. We had a deal. Did you really think you could fuck with us? Of course, this fatty not gonna help. I can do this all day. I already got one of you. He's already got one of you. Woo! Over there. Okay, okay. You fuck with us. Shut up, shut up, shut up you talking to me. Oh shit, it's a fucking Let's go, baby. We moving, baby. We can reach the gate. We can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah shit that hurts. Get closer, man. Little me the open. Where's our food, you asshole? Look at Lee. Oh my god, she's so smooth with it. I already knew something was up. What happened? That Larry? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. We're gonna have to move it. He said, where's our food? Y'all heard him? He mad about something, though. Now there you are, Like, they must be on some... Like, they must be... They must have feed them or something, like... How many bodies? Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Right, bro. We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. I see. What the? <laughs> Not right now. Let me go. I got one of you. I already got one of you. Shut up talking to me. Not on a race, bitch. Dude, I just rip you in half. You okay? Yeah. Barely. Come on. 
Gates right there. He's not gonna catch. Why is he so fast? If you don't calm down trying to get a snack out of me. Thank you. Thank you, y'all, for helping me. Let's get out of here. You lucky sons of bitches. Go ahead and run. We ain't going nowhere. So they're not going to rush? They could have raided us for real. If they would have followed right behind us, it would have been reps. Lee, what's wrong? Uh, what's this place was safe? A goddamn ambush. There was a goddamn ambush out there. Holy shit, are, are you okay? Bandits here? On our property? Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? What you think, so Brenda? Bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out. Hey, y'all. Mark. Oh, oh, my God. What happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you going to be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh, no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll she got him all right. Catch going to help, though, for real. What kind of shit is this? Larry! We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Wow. Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were going to give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches. I don't like him. He scared me. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, <laughs> come find us. <laughs> this shit's funny. Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe. This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor in. Right, y'all are y'all getting our mad. He got an arrow in his back, but it's better than the motor in. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out. As much as I hate Larry, I gotta agree with him for that one. To try to make friends when with Andy and Brenda. When do you take over? Lily, I'm well, not listening to you. Easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Larry, don't try to be cool now. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Y'all left that woman with Ben by herself? Hey, kids, look what Lee got working Oh, Clem and Lee? I mean, Duck here, I didn't know that. I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. You're welcome, Clementine. Yeah. I love you, Clementine. You, bro. That's my daughter, bro. That's my little girl, man. Clementine. Even though she's not really my I'm babysitter. But yeah. Clem, bro. I love Clem, bro. You know I got you, Clem. That thing keeps a fence electrified. Alright, well, I guess we can explore right now with this Minecraft music. Lots of hay. Look at this man. <laughs> he said, I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> it's just funny seeing Duck on a swing, bro. What look hilarious, bro. Ooh, give me the time of my life. Yeah. Oh, baby. Ooh. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Uh, uh, uh. Y'all are the last people I want to talk to, but I want to get y'all out the way. I want to get y'all out the way. Come on. It'll be going straight to boss, man. Oh, I'm glad I don't got to talk to him. Lee, oh my God. I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Of course. I wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? Look. I take it you and Kenny haven't made up about your dad. How you about leaving the motor in? Yeah, yeah. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? Yeah, yeah, for it's sure. It's a welcome change of scenery. 
I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Hold on. Uh, I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on. I don't think they made up. Yeah. I know. tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid, if you ask me. Okay, I don't know. I'm gonna go that far. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? You're a good leader, Lovett. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you okay. two could try that's, to that's work all right. together That's all right. That's all right. Because I got to think about it like this, y'all. Like, Lily is really doing what she can for this people. Like, she got a ration of food. She got to tell what's going on in this. And we've been surviving for three months, and Lily been the leader. Like, she's not a bad leader. It's just I would pick Kenny, you know, friendship over, you know, the lead and stuff. If there's not she's not really a terrible world, leader or a bad leader at all. A little bit bossy, ships. but if you'd rather have a bossy leader than an all nice and uh don't want to tell you the truth leader. You know what I mean? Kenny is emotional, but he's still the homie. Like he'll ride or die. That thing keeps offensive. They're lucky that's not a fight option for Larry, because I would have been beat Larry at. And when we look at these fence for what? Mm, pointy. Mm, pointy. Mm, delicioso. Mm, my name's Lee. What y'all looking at? Mm, yes, sir. They look happy. Clem, what's up, Clem? Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Ah, uh, no. Sure. I Your hat, Clem. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. Thank you, Duck, for being respectful. Let's go, Clem. How are you doing, Clem? How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? You got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Yeah, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. Uh, yeah, what do you think? What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I'm not sure, Clem. I'm not sure, Clem. I hope so. I hope so, too. We're safe here, though. Don't worry. For the time being, as I don't fully trust these people, but at the same time, it's what right? we got right now. I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, duck. Don't pop a gasket. I you gotta love Clem, bro. She's so respectful, man. Like some of these kids would be like, you know, have an attitude to some, but Clem, she just shows respect every time, bro. Where are we going? Talking to Kenny, ain't it? Hey. Haley. Found anything interesting? I'm just trying to make sure this place is secure. In case we decide to make this a more long-term solution. Except for those people in the woods. Seems pretty safe. Good to know. Keep your ears open for anything else that might help us. I guess uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here. I could give two shits about what Lily. Oh damn! Wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch them go hungry. I You're agree. With me on this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Lily's judgment is clouded, but you got a pretty clear head about these things. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? They've been no, arguing, they're easy. gonna have to tell me to side. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. 
That's funny, considering you didn't seem too worried about Duck back at Herschel's farm. That's in the past, Kenny. Lots oh, I'm glad you remember that, Kenny. Yeah, right. Wait. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on in the court, bruh. Kenny, Kenny. Three over three months has passed since what happened with Duck at the farm. All right. Number one, why are you bringing that up now? Who cares? Your boy is on the swing and you're pushing him. All right. Number two, Sean died because of your son. All right. At the end of the day, I hate that boy Duck. All right. But I only take care of him because it's you, Kenny. I take care of him for. And don't ever, number three, don't ever press me like that ever again, bro. Don't be on the block list like Larry, bro. Don't do that, Kenny. Kenny, you my boy. Kenny, you my boy, bro. First, first you come at Clementine, you know, or me for for because I'm not uh uh ready to watch over somebody like this, a little girl. That's that's you do that. And then now you pressure me about Duck. I don't give a. I will kick that nigga off the swing right now. Bro, I can't believe this. But, uh, you know, all right then. All right then, Kenny. Mm -hmm. All right, babe. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee, soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was going to pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal. You know? I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'd be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Yeah, I can't tell my camera Let's lagging. See what I can find out. But hopefully it's not, y'all. That's why I keep looking at over here. I'm watch I'm trying to see if my camera lagging or not, but hopefully it's not. And everything's playing out right. If not, I'll be on the next episode. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. Right. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we Don't talk to, to me, bro. Back. You scare me. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So, are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Uh. Cats are in them inside, right? Mark, yeah, with Mark and the Brenda. We talked to Lily, Larry, Henny, Duck. Yeah, we can go now. Yeah, it'll be a good. I don't see why not. We ready, yo? Let go. We're up against. I said you can hate from outside the club. I'll you can't even get in. Down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. <laughs> 